Hi everyone, and welcome to my session about FileMaker and Tableau. My name is Vincenzo Manano, and I'm at Beeswax. I've been at Beeswax since 2004. Um, got a new title there now called Chief Innovation Officer, and I'm the author of Inspector Pro. I have two incredible kids, and things that I like are precision engineering, data visualization, sharp knives, architecture, and measuring things. I also love going for hikes with my family. Just like we have uh, with add-ons, the ability to extend FileMaker with either JavaScript add-ons or modules, what I'm gonna talk about today with FileMaker and Tableau is this blending of these kind of two behemoths, so to speak, that in their own right, they're just huge applications, but you can blend them together. And so what we're going to look at as an example is we're going to take data in a hosted solution, and uh, we have two methods that we can connect to the data. Uh, one method that FileMaker provides using the Web Data Connector, um, and this is with Tableau. Uh, and then another method is uh, using... Um, a new connector that Tableau came out with, we built something called uh, a FileMaker JDBC Taco. And uh, Tableau has this Taco connector um, SDK, or um, yeah, so it has this SDK, and uh, it's, it's, it's ta Taco for Tableau connector, basically. We won't get into that right now. Uh, but just to say that we, we built this one and um, it gives you some additional benefits and features like faster performance and uh, the ability to pull in more than one table at a time. So we'll look at setting up permissions using that. And then uh, you basically just a small demo of building your dashboard uh, in, in Tableau Desktop. Uh, so you would build workbooks normally first, and then those workbooks, uh, dashboards are composed of different components, and each of those components are different workbooks. Um, so optionally, what you could also do when you have your dashboard is you can add actions. Normally, people add a lot of things like filters, but you can also add URL actions. And what the cool thing is is that... Um, you can build these FMP URL calculations, and these calculations can take com like little bits and pieces of the data that is in your in your visualization, which um, in can which come from your your data source, which is from your database, and uh, you could pass in, for example, an ID of an order, and when you click on it, it can be taken directly to that to that item, so it can be. Um, um, it can be a category, it can be any one of the fields or a combination of fields, so it, it can be very powerful. So we'll see a couple of examples of that. <clears throat> and then, uh, just like FileMaker, you publish your FileMaker file to a FileMaker server, your, your dashboard that you build in Tableau Desktop gets published to a Tableau server. Uh, and then once it's published to the Tableau server, you can then take an embed URL and embed that URL or, or embedded uh, pit, bit of JavaScript that they provide and embed it into a web viewer. So now the users are, are uh, going to interact with your application all in one place, which is very, very powerful. So you, you, you would see something that's uh, some, some kind of trend and you want to drill into the underlying reason why that is. You can do that directly without having to leave FileMaker. So let's go and dive into these, um, these video demos. In this video, we'll show you um, what you need to do to set up uh, the security to be able to set up uh, the JDBC Taco. So uh, create a privilege set and uh, call it whatever you like. And the uh, important thing is to enable ODBC JDBC access. When you go to custom privileges, uh, you'll want to be able to view all the tables that you want to get data from, and then you set up um, limited access to the fields that uh, should be uh, viewable. You don't need to make them editable, just viewable. Now, it's important to note here when you're going through this to 
to set these fields up that uh, it's it's a good it's a best practice to maybe set up individually all the fields that you want accessible just because you may have like unstored fields unstored calculation fields or summary fields that um, or or uh, fields that you don't need to have part of the the send to tableau for the visualization like a large uh, container field or text text large text fields etc so once that's set up uh, your your uh, next step would be to uh, create an, an account and associate it with that uh, privilege set and then you'll use those credentials when um, when you access uh, the, the data for using with the TACO. And that's it. Next, we'll talk about the uh, setup that you would need to do if you were using the Web Data Connector instead. So you would, again, you would create uh, a privilege set and uh, the, the same thing, you would, you would allow access to the, to the tables that you want to, to be viewable. And uh, in this case, uh, it's okay to make all the fields in that table uh, viewable. The difference is is that you would um, make the 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 layout uh, accessible, and you uh, turn on the extended privilege for the FileMaker Data API. And um, so then the only difference in the end here, you'll again you'll set up the the account name, but the difference is that once you have that layout, you're connecting to the layout and uh, the fields that you put on the layout would be visible. In this video, we'll show you using the uh, FileMaker JDBC TACO. Um, so you connect to your connectors view, and um, when you open it, you'll just fill out the information for the server, the port number, the database, the username and password, and then sign in. Um, I will say that this, this JDBC uh, TACO is going to be freely available. Uh, we just didn't have it ready in time. Uh, we submitted it to the Tableau Extensions Gallery, but it uh, should be coming out soon. So we'll, we'll publish it and uh, we'll, make, we'll mention it when as soon as it's ready. Um, so once you're here, you can, you can see the table occurrences that are on your, in your graph here. And uh, again, you, you would choose the, the two table occurrences that represent the data from the table that you're pulling. And so, as you can see here, you can make a connection between two table occurrences and the relationship um, that you want to establish between them. And then once you go to the sheet, um, it extracts the data uh, at that time and, uh, and loads it up in, into, your, um, into your Tableau desktop. So you can uh, start using the fields <clears throat> uh, that, are, that are in this uh, data set to, vi to visualize it. In this video, we'll look at using the Web Data Connector. So we click on Web Data Connector, and the URL that you would fill out would be uh, the server name slash FMI slash data slash V1 slash Tableau slash FM underscore connector dot HTML. And once you, um, once you go to that page, it'll load up this, uh, this view here that shows you to ask, that asks you to enter the database name, the uh, the, the source layout name and the account name and password. Uh, the difference between the Web Data Connector and the, and the TACO is that uh, the Web Data Connector is layout based, the TACO is table occurrence based. And uh, so, that so now we made one connection, we pulled in one table. Now uh, we're going to make another connection shortly here, and we're going to put in, pull in um, another another uh, set of data for uh, th this other table. Uh, the one benefit with the Web Data Connector is you can put different fields from, from other, f from, you know, different relationships, etc., which you can't do with the, the, the TACO, but uh, unless you made them unstored calcs. But nonetheless, um, the Web Data Connector uh, does have this shortcoming, uh, whereas the TACO lets you bring in the data for uh, multiple tables all at once and and it's the other benefit the huge benefit is that it's much much faster in this video we're showing um, a little bit of the of a feel for what it's like to work in tableau tableau has this metaphor of um, 
these pills that you work with and drag into the into the work area and uh, their measures and dimensions and um, again just to, to give you a feel for how Tableau works so now we have um, sales in the columns and, and rows we have the ship mode we can sort um, by sales and uh, and we colored it by segment uh, the other thing we can do is um, drag a, a pill for uh, the ship date and we can add um, a filter uh, a range of dates so we can do all the sales um, in uh, in 2017 so uh, this this uh, filter is going to be something that the user can also change the dates so we can expose the filter for the user um, so it's up there on the on the uh, on the top right at this moment once we have these workbooks built uh, so you can build another worksheet, basically. Um, so the first one uh, that we built is this uh, ship mode example that has different kinds of filters. And then we built a, like a grid view. So the idea is that the finished product is going to be um, a combination of both of these workbooks. And that's, um, and that's what you do is you build a dashboard view and you drag the components from the sheets on the left into this um, into this dashboard, and that's what makes up the dashboard is the different um, work worksheets um, that that make up this dashboard. In this video, we're going to look at um, you know, creating these calculations in Tableau. So uh, Tableau has the ability to create a calculated field, just like FileMaker, and I've already created the calculations, so we're just going to edit them. And this one here is an FMP URL, and uh, the script we're, we're going to call is, uh, is called find, and it declares a variable called order ID, and uh, concatenates the order ID into the uh, the or the URL string. And another another uh, script, uh, one is called find. This one is called note, and it, it also passes in the order ID. Um, so. Normally, and so like uh, uh, here, here we have the FileMaker script and it receives the, uh, the order ID as a parameter and it uses that to perform a find and, and, uh, and show that, that order. This other one will create a card window, will create a new record and sets the order ID um, once that new card record is, is created. So if we look in, in Tableau, when you want to build actions, you have to be on a dashboard view and uh, you have access to the actions. And here we have three different actions. We have our two um, FMP URL actions that we're going to trigger using uh, the go to URL uh, feature. And uh, if we look into the first one, we'll see that um, we would insert the calculation field that has the URL, and then that's, in this case, it's FMP URL find, and it gives you kind of like a preview of what it is down there just below it. And, uh, and then the other thing is we're gonna do it as a menu. You could do it as, as a single click, but uh, it's nice um, also to be able to have um, multiple, th you can add multiple uh, options in the uh, in the menu, so uh, the other the other the other typical thing that users do is that they build filters. So uh, the source sheet is ship mode, which is the source sheet at the top, and below is the grid view. So when you click on something at the top, like a, a row or a, a, a bit of data, it'll show you the relevant. Um, orders uh, just below it in Necker to show us the, the customer uh, record. So very powerful stuff. So next, uh, we'll want to publish our, our dashboard to a server. So you'll sign into the server. Or I've already signed in, so I'm just going to go ahead and say publish uh, workbook. And uh, you give it a name. And uh, once you've given it a name, then you can also um, then choose which sheets you want to publish. We're going to only publish the dashboard. Um, the interface is a little bit clunky, but um, anyway, it gets the job done. 
And once the, um, the dashboard has been published to the uh, server, it's just like uploading a file to a FileMaker server. Um, you'll be able to go into that dashboard and, um, and, and you'll, be, you'll have a button on the top right that'll be a share button. And that share button uh, allows you to um, um, copy uh, either the link or copy the embed code that you would then go over into a FileMaker um, uh, web viewer and you would uh, paste that, uh, that bit of JavaScript code in here. Uh, note that uh, you have some options here uh, to be able to hide the toolbar. So we've we set the toolbar to not show. And uh, that's it. So now let's look at the finished product here. So uh, again, this is a, a, a layout that has a web viewer and it has the embed, uh, the, the embed code in there. And uh, so this has made its connection to the to the, the server and uh, it's fully functional. Uh, we can use the, the, the order date range uh, filter to filter that and you see the, uh, the dashboard refreshing uh, dynamically here uh, as we change the, uh, the date filter. Uh, we can also um, you know uncheck standard class and see the, uh, the dashboard adjust correctly and we can also uh, you know filter by a specific customer if we wanted to find a specific customer. Imagine having to build all this in FileMaker. Uh, here is the uh, filter action that allows us to filter uh, the data. So here we're going to click on um, the record come up in the other window on the left. So we're looking at Julie Dunbar's order. And now we're going to put in a, a note on Julie Dunbar's order. So we're going to fill in the note here. And when we uh, when we click done, basically it's just it's already created the record. Uh, it's just going to update that um, that note on that record, and we'll see that row appear there on the bottom left. So that's just a small small tip of the possibilities of working with Tableau and FileMaker. And I hope that this was uh, something that opens your eyes up to. Um, to the possibilities of, of what can be done with these two mammoth uh, platforms. So let's recap what we just learned today. And so we looked at different methods to extract the data, either using JDBC FileMaker Taco or the Web Data Connector and the security needed to set that up, etc. Then we looked at demo of building a dashboard in Tableau. Uh, we added some actions using FMP URL when clicking on uh, different parts of the dashboard to be able to interact with the underlying data, and then published the, the dashboard to Tableau server, and then embedded the Tableau dashboard into FileMaker, into a web viewer. And then we looked at users interacting with the dashboard and only needing to be in one place to interact with both the FileMaker application and the, uh, the dashboards in Tableau. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, is beneficial to you. If you need to contact me, my, name, my, uh, my email address is vince at beeswax.net. And there are a number of links that I'll find a way to to get the uh, either the slides or the uh, the links that uh, we posted here, so that for other follow up additional uh, material for you. Thanks again, and I hope this is beneficial to you.